I've been rocking with you for a minute now. I want to say like for about a good three years so far. And basically it's like every single thing that you've told me from the deep conversations, the face to face, or the over the phone, it's everything that you told me basically this year I'm seeing it, but I'm seeing it 10 times more. Like never in a million years would I ever thought that I'd be able to buy the house that I have with a three bedroom house garage all the way up in the suburbs, like, I'm where, like, people my age, people that come out of my hood can't even afford to live like that, and mm. it's like, I'm doing it, everything that you told me to do, like, every spirit you told me to serve, and how you told me to serve it, it's like, I did that verbatim, mm. and it literally got me to where I never even thought that I could even make it to on my own. to be rich and famous with voodoo well i want to tell you easier said than done a lot of people come to the voodoo community with requests i want to be rich i want to be famous but they don't understand that there's work that they have to do themselves you have some people that think I'm going to get a potion and this is going to solve all my problems. I'm not going to have to work or I'm going to get a bag or a ring for a spirit. I'm going to marry a spirit and I'm going to wear their ring and everything is going to work for me. See, this is fictional thinking. This is foolish thinking. Faith without works profiteth nothing. You have to work. You have to utilize your feet and your hands to make things come into existence. You will have forces that will create ways for you. They will remove opposition from your path, but you ultimately have to work. There's a lot of weak need Weak individuals that do not have a backbone and do not have a character to work, but yet they want a quick fix. You're not going to find a quick fix in voodoo because the opportunity will present itself. But if you're not man or woman enough to answer the call, you will be the individual that will say, I wish I could have, I, I, you know, I wish this, I wish that. Wishful thinking as life passes you by. Just because you have the loi working on your side or the zonset working on your side, you cannot forget that you have to put an effort in on your own. The loi will assist you, but you have to work on your craft. If you are a builder, and you are just starting out. You're an apprentice. You got to learn. Pay attention to what's going on the job. So you can go home and practice. Practice makes perfect. Then you have some of you guys that are working at a company, whether it's uh whether it's an insurance company. You know, you just started, you know, you got the gig. Apply yourself while you're on the job. Learn the job so that you can be better in your performance. Yes, you may get the opportunity to have calls coming in, you know, from uh, various customers, 
But if you don't have the gift of gab, the, the, the mode of communication and speech, you'll get nothing. The opportunity may present itself, but you will not seize that opportunity because you lack in skill. Oh, I want this, I want this job. I want this, I want this, I want this career. But are you putting out your resume? Are you making the effort to achieve the job that you want? What are you constructively doing to make that reality, that dream become a reality? What are you doing? Oh, I need something to amplify, or I, I need something to get my business going. Did you map out the terrain? Did you study your environment? Did you study your crowd? Did you study your audience? Did you study those that you are marketing to? Some of you people got a fucked up game plan, but yet you want the spirits to help you. You haven't even examined your terrain and you're just jumping in it. You get a place that no one knows in the middle of nowhere and you expect for business to come in. Shit does not work like that in the real fucking world. There's a lot of people that, uh, oh my God, uh, you, I, I remember one idiot told me, oh, I know this African guy, he can make money out of nothing. There's a lot of idiots out here that believe that what they see on social media, a guy playing tricks, voodooism, playing tricks, like they're putting their hands inside a bucket, you know, they take a piece of paper from their client, and then they pull their hands out of a bucket, they give a demonstration, they pull their hands out of a bucket, they take a piece of paper from client and they put it out of and they put it in the bucket and then they pull out money out the bucket right 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 and then you'll find yourself in fucking debt you'll find yourself to a point where you're about to lose the house you live in behind fucking tricks remove this foolishness that you see in the Haitian voodoo community out your fucking head just because you see a bunch of woo guns and mambos doing a bunch of stupid fucking tricks in a food ceremony doesn't mean that it's fucking real. The difference between a Bokar's reality and a woo guns reality is that we see things in a worldly perspective. We see things realistically. We do not believe in fairy fucking tales. The world is a very harsh place. And for those that want to believe in tricks and fairy tales, they're going to find themselves in the line of with those people that come to me. Oh my God, Leonard, I've been ripped off. I lost everything I own. I've lost everything. All because you wanted a quick fix. Most people do not want to hear the truth is that even when you get spiritual work done to help your business, you have to apply yourself. And sometimes when you uh, sometimes when you do this type of work to help yourself, it takes time to manifest. Most of you idiots are looking for people that you're, you're looking for these lies. You want these lies to become your reality. And all lies are going to do for you is lead you with nothing but a bunch of debt and then leave you in a position where you're cursing the person you went to. And then you're going to end up calling my phone crying and saying, oh my God, I lost I lost about $100,000 behind this spiritual stuff. I spent $50,000. Whose fault is that? You've had people that told you the reality, but you wanted the quick fix. You wanted the lies. You wanted to believe in all the fairy tales that these people were presenting to you. And now... You're about to be homeless and you have nothing. Spiritual work to better your financial situation requires an effort. Even me, myself, I had to do work. Not just spiritual work, but I had to put the work in to what I do, my craft. I'm speaking to you. I had to invest and quality appliances so that I can bring it, bring a good presentation to you. I get high quality cameras so I can take pictures for you. I invest into my business. I invest into my profession. And I'm constantly watching orators, good speakers, motivational speakers. So I learn, I study, presentation, all those things. Investing into my craft, doing the work. If you have a spiritualist that's been doing the same shit 
has been doing it looks the same fucking way they did four to five years ago. That's the spirituals that you don't need in your fucking life. There's a lot of Tata and Golos out here. This motherfucker got three to four names. Nazako, knee rotation. I don't even know. The list goes on. Revolving door syndrome. They never progress in life. All they do is fucking uh, get clients, don't deliver what they ought, what they what they claim, and then they move on to the next with the same revolving door. No PayPal because their PayPal's been shut down. So right now they gotta resort to bullshit means to get money scraping. Nothing comes with ease in this world without hard work. With that said, I conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.